Right, hello again, and back with another little update. Here you'll see in the AC output. I mean, this is a progression um, of the toroid, uh, my prior video, and this is the output of the actual um, AC little inverter. You know, that's 142 volts AC, and the input is 1.12 volts DC which is rather impressive and that's just using the basic circuit that I've showed you um, in the previous video so if you check that out but look at that 152 volts and all I've done is as I said before I was going to mess about with the toroid windings and see what I got and you know there it is there it's practically two turns but you'd call it one really if you you know, practically two turns. And the only other thing is, this new transistor, I'll, I'll put the details in the flashing box, or in the little box, for you to see, because I can't really read it from there. And yeah, super capacitor in there. I did buy another one, because uh, they're really good. But there, look at this. 165, 166. And I bet if I give this a little tweak, on the variable resistor I wonder how far, no, no there is a so 60, 60 67 I saw there, 167 which you know from um, 1.25 volts which is climbing by the way, it's being charged um, the um, uh, the capacitor is being charged why this tiny little solar panel here it's just a tiny little five uh, six per six solar panel nothing special gorgeous day uh, six per six solar panel and and that's it but like I say all I've done is change the windings on the toroid from 162 to 158 um, the input windings are just one or two turns you, you can do what you like and do what you think but look here as the capacitor is still charging look at what the voltage is now 172 volts AC from 1.35 volts and this is all that's left I'm sure this is all that's left because uh, I mean this seems like the difference, this seems like the circuits used up all the rest but that's the voltage there you know I'm not sure that's what's being used I'm sure I'm sure somehow unless I've got it wrong because I'm still a noob but um, that is the difference but look at that that is uh, that exciting that's quite exciting you know 175 76 volts AC from 140 volts that yeah I like that and just like I say it's just from the simple circuit that I posted before you can light neon bulbs obviously this is just a little proof let me whack this on it's a nice little neon bulb there in fact Oh, I was doing two just a minute ago, but and you can hear the oscillations now. I think very slightly. But yeah, that's uh, really quite bright, considering it's a neon bulb. But then. I mean, 172 odd volts being pumped into it. What do you expect? Anyway, look at that power drain. I drained it when I turned it up. I drained the capacitor. Now it's got to charge up slowly again. But and there you go. You can see the start gentle climb from 0.91, 72 volts. And this climbs up again, as I said before, exponentially and and yeah I'm, I'm quite impressed with that so 
yeah just thought I'd share that with you um, thanks for watching